One of the biggest surprises this season has been the breakout performance of George Kittle. The second year tight end out of Iowa has surpassed almost everybody's lofty goals. Through the first seven weeks, he has over 500 yards. At this rate, he's going to break 1,000. For this video, I wanted to see what he was doing in the 49ers offense. I also wanted to see if he'll continue doing it based on what I saw in film. After watching and tracking all of his targets, I'm very impressed with what I saw. But before we dive into what makes him so good in this offense, let's take a look at his top seven routes that he's run so far this season. As you can see, Kittle's number one route in terms of yards gained has been a flat or a quick out route. On his 12 attempts, Kittle has gained 115 yards. An average of nine and a half yards per attempt is pretty incredible. Considering the fact that these plays happen near the line of scrimmage, it's really been up to him to make the most out of these throws. In this play, the 49ers are faced with a second and one. This came at the end of the first half, so the defense was more worried about the offense getting to field goal range as opposed to stopping the first down conversion. They purposely allow Kittle to make the catch in the hope that they can burn clock and tackle him in bounds. However, they weren't expecting Kittle to do what he did here. He broke the first tackle, stepped around a second one, and somehow gained 15 yards on this play. This should have ended after a two-yard catch, but Kittle's shiftiness allowed him to gain another 13. This consistent ability to gain yards after the catch is easily one of Kittle's best traits. So far in the season, he's the leader amongst all tight ends in yards after the catch. The next closest tight end is Travis Kelsey, who has 95 yards fewer in this metric. Outside of this ability, Kittle is already flashing his talent as a route runner. In college, Kittle's mainly a blocking tight end in Iowa's offense, but in my opinion, they sorely underestimate his talent. Versus the Lions, Kittle lined up on the right side of the offensive line in a three-point stance. After the snap, Kittle ran a slant route attacking the space between zones. He pressed the safety quandary digs and used a lunge step in order to flat foot him on his route. This is what opened him to cut back inside. Since the quarterback was a step late in his throw, the ball was behind his target. Kittle turned and made a pretty good grab with the ball outside his frame for a 17-yard gain. Outside of these awesome individual plays by Kittle, Kyle Shanahan consistently maximized his ability to get open. On this play, Shanahan paired Kittle's route running and awareness to gain 82 yards in a touchdown. Versus the Chargers, the defense was in cover three. Kittle ran a seam route, but he used a nod stem after lining up on the right side of the offensive line. The reason why Kittle ran his seam route this way is based on how the offense wants to attack the Chargers defense. Versus a three deep shell, the free safety is taught to attack the seam route if a receiver carries it down the field. However, since it looks like Kittle's running an out route instead, he doesn't fall this route. He turned his attention to the opposite side of the field, which is how Kittle got so open. Definitely give credit to the quarterback for looking off the safety, but Kittle showed his awareness in these situations and also showed his natural ability to gain yards after the catch. This is just a seriously impressive play, and it's clear that Kittle fits well in this offense. While I was going through Kittle's plays, I counted two drops so far this season. This could have been a massive play, but the ball hits him in his hands and he simply couldn't bring it in. The 49ers run a hard play action fake out of I formation. They pretend to run two back outside zone and on the right side, Kittle fakes his block before releasing up the field. He's wide open because his execution of his block was so convincing that the defense doesn't pick him up. Meanwhile, Harrison Smith is 100% out of position. He was tricked into thinking this was Shanahan's other favorite concept called Yankee. In that play design, the front receiver will run a crossing route in order to attack the space vacated by the defense. Since this was obviously the goal of this play design, it allowed Kittle to get open. While Kittle only has two drops so far this season, he's had a few bobbled passes that I thought he could have brought in. I'm not going to classify these as drops per se, but it's definitely close. In this one against the Chiefs, Kittle couldn't secure the ball initially when it hit him in his hands. He had to bring it down to his lap to try to make the catch, and this allowed the defender to break up the ball. Again, this is not technically a drop to me, but the ball going to his lap before he was hit, it's definitely up there. Removing plays like this from our missed opportunity category, Kittle had two chances in the Vikings game that could have been big gains. The slot fade was one of those passes. Garoppolo overthrew the ball, while Kittle had a clear step on his defender. The same thing happened in the red zone a few minutes later. Kittle steps like he's lining up the defender on his rub, but then he uses that to his advantage. He attacks the defender's feet, which causes him to widen, allowing Kittle to get by. If Garoppolo just threw the ball a bit lower, this would have been another touchdown just like in the last play. Some other things I noted during my film study is that Kittle will sometimes drift on his routes. 
He can definitely break off a route cleanly, but he does have a tendency to drift up the field as opposed to sealing out a defender. This will occasionally happen on crosses and dig routes. Another thing that I saw was that Kittle isn't always the best at coming back to the ball. This was something he struggled with while he was in college, and even though he's improved since entering the NFL, he can still get better. He just needs to continue working on it in order to make this a habit. Outside of his receiving duties, my favorite, beyond favorite trait that Kittle possesses is his willingness as a run blocker. At 6'4 and 257 pounds, he does more than just get in position. He will ram a defender out of his path. There were multiple plays where he sustained a block 10 yards down the field or he finished a linebacker to the ground. These were all legal and technically sound blocks, and by God do I love it. Overall, and to wrap up this video, I really like Kittle's skill set. He plays like a weird amalgamation between Travis Kelsey and Rob Gronkowski, and I think he has a ton of talent. He does a great job gaining yards after the catch, and his route running is something I didn't expect him to be already good at. Plus, when you factor in his effort and his technique and run blocking, you get a very well-rounded tight end. Now, obviously, I'm not saying he's better than either of these two star players, but he's a very good player on his own. Combine this skill set with playing for a coach like Kyle Shanahan, and I see this as a perfect match for Kittle to continue producing like a top tier tight end going forward. Well, that's all I have for you in this one. For the rest of the season, my book is my official sponsor. If you want a 100% sign up bonus for up to $1,000, you can use the promotion code SIM100. I'll continue doing breakdowns like this one all season long. And on Saturday mornings, I'll also be giving betting advice as well. You are more than welcome to join in or bet against me or bet on one of the many other sports and games they offer. Thank you so much for all of your support and for watching my videos. If you want to keep this channel going, you can support me on my Patreon account or you can find me on Twitter at Samuel R. Gold.